hello in this video i'll show you how to revive your dead lead acid battery i'm going to show you how to revive it and bring it back to life if the voltage is low or it can't power your devices anymore and when you charge it it runs down fast so in this video i'll show you how to revive the battery and bring it back to life So this is a Bluegate lead acid battery and it's dead. So I'm going to show you what the voltage is showing now. This battery is dead. So to be able to bring it back to life, the first thing I want to do is to check the voltage current lay on the battery. So from the battery right now, before we begin any work on it, before we begin to revive it, it's showing 0 0.3, 0.3 volt, which is really, really low. This can power any of your device. This is 0.38 voltage 0.3 is not even up to one volt so i'll show you what to do to be able to bring this battery back to life so that it can begin to work for you so this can also work for batteries that is reading 12 volt if it's a 12 volt battery but it doesn't last long so the first thing we want to do is to open this battery so on the top of the battery there is this flat and plastic that is covering it so you get a flat screwdriver or any flat device you're going to pry it open from the side so this particular um, brand of battery has these two pin points on the two sides that you can just pry it open from so this is it you can see these two points here i'm going to show you the points this is the point one from this point i'm going to pry it open this way and then i'll be able to open the battery so i'll just carefully remove the plastic on top so this is what it looks like when you open the plastic on top so i'll just pop open this the cover there's this um plastic covers that is holding it you can see what it looks like it's like a rubber cover so i'll remove the rubber cover for all of them there are about six of them so and then i'll take out this white this white stuff here yeah, be, be careful so that it doesn't go inside inside the hole because we don't want any impurities going inside this hole here so you have to be very careful so now we've removed it the next thing we're going to do is to um begin to fill it up the reason why your battery is down is because most of the time the distilled water inside is low or dried up so what you just have is just um, the acid water inside so the distilled water that is supposed to help the acid water to flow from one cell to the other during charging and discharging process is dried up or it is low so that is why sometimes when you charge and charge and charge it doesn't go beyond a particular voltage so what i'm going to do right now is to get distilled water and i'm going to fill it up now for distilled water this is distilled water i'm going to carefully fill each of the hole you have to be very careful so that you don't fill it too much so i'm going to carefully fill out distilled water in each of the holes now distilled water is not a regular water okay so you can go um you can just go around to shops where they sell batteries ask them for distilled water the difference between this water and your regular table water is because is that this is pure your regular table water has some minerals in it okay and then rain water is also distilled water because it is pure but by the time the rain water comes you collect the rainwater some impurities may have been added to it from the cloud from the air from the roof of your house so that is why you can't use direct rainwater on this otherwise rainwater is a good example of distilled water because it is pure also but because of impurities in the weather in the air in the roof of your house if you're collecting the water so it is no longer advisable to use rainwater otherwise 
rainwater is also distilled water, which is also good. It's also an alternative that you can use. But because of the impurities, you can't. So another way you can make your distilled water, if you don't have access to distilled water, is collect your rainwater and then you can just boil it. So when the steam begins to go out, so you just put um, like something to hold the steam down. So as the steam is going out, it's just you put like a cover so that the steam the steam is collected somewhere and then and then when they have uh, when it cools down it can just take all the water and then that is distilled water also so it's evaporated water and it's pure but otherwise just go and get distilled water is not that expensive so I've been able to fill all the six holes here now. What I'm going to do is to allow it to sit for some time so that it can um, soak in, in in the lids inside. Okay, so I'll just allow it for some time to soak in, uh, maybe one or two minutes, then I'll come back and I'll drain out the excess. Now I'm going to remove the excess water because we don't want it to be too full. Okay, so I'll drain out my excess. Now that I've drained out my excess, I'm going to cover this round and I'm going to clean it up and then I'll check the voltage. Remember the voltage we got initially was around 0.38 volt. So now that I've been able to refill with distilled water, I'll check the voltage again before I will now charge it. Remember you have to charge it for some time. Okay. You have to charge it for at least um, four hours. Okay. You have to charge it for at least four hours. So this is a 12 volt batteries. If I'm to charge it, I'm going to charge with something higher than 12 volt. 14 volt is okay, 15 volt is okay to charge the battery. So I'm going to charge it for like three or four hours. Then I'm going to check the voltage again. If I check the voltage again, the voltage should be above 12 volt. So it can be 12.8 volt or 13 volt, depending on what the voltage is. So, but that will be after charging it. But right now that I just filled the distilled water, it might not be up to 12 volt, but it will have shot up from zero point to something higher. So let's check the voltage and see what we have. So I'm going to keep the distilled water aside. Okay, so let's see what we have here now. We have, woo, from zero point three, it has shot up to 9.1 volts. You can see that this worked. So the next thing I'm going to do is just to charge this battery. Now that this has been able to work for that particular battery, I'm going to do some other batteries also. So these are other batteries, 12 volt batteries also. I'm going to repeat the same process for all of them so that I'll be able to revive them too. So remember when you're refilling this, it doesn't have to be too full. If it's too full, it is not good. It's going to spill out during charging process. Okay. It doesn't have to be too full. So I'm going to remove all the excesses when I'm done. And again, for those of you who is asking why we can't just use regular water, in another video, through my, you can check through my channel, I'm going to link this video with another video that shows you what happens if you use a regular table water to refill your batteries. I'm going to show you. So I'm going to refill um, a battery with a regular table water just for experiment purposes so that you see what happens. You can see that... Um, there will be a lot of impurities which is going to hinder the movement of um, of the acid from the leads. So you can see it begins to heat up and then so many things begins to happen. So I'm going to do an experiment to show you what happens to the battery if you use different kinds of water. I'll, I'm going to use the rain water, I'm going to use table water, then I'm going to use the steel water so that you see the difference between all of them. And in case you haven't done already, like and subscribe to the channel so that um, you'll be notified when 
more and more videos is available on this channel we have videos on how we fix a lot of office equipment batteries and solar installations and repairs printer installation and repair laptop repairs pabs intercom and the rest so you can just like and subscribe so that you'll be able to get the benefit of all of that Okay, so I've been able to refill this. I'm going to check the voltage of this battery. But before then, I'm going to cover up the battery so that I can drain out the excess water on this. Okay, so I'm going to check the voltage. You can see this is reading 10.8 volts. So this.